Okay, here we have an interest problem that says a bank loaned out $17,000, part of it at the rate of 7% per year, and the rest at 15% per year. If the interest received in one year totaled $1,500, how much was loaned at 7%? Um, so this is another interest problem, but it's a little bit different than the one that we've already talked about. Uh, this, In this case, this one, they're giving you what the total interest is. We don't have to figure it out. But the idea is still going to be, you know, the, the exact same thing. We know that principal times rate times time equals interest. And in this case, we're going to be using time as just one, so we're just going to ignore it. So principal times rate, in this case, equals interest. This is going to help us to be able to set up our table. So I'm going to have my column headings as principal and then rate and then interest. Okay, so I've got my uh, column headings here. Now we've got two different accounts that we're putting this in, right? So we've got a first account and a second account. And then you know what? I'm going to go ahead and have a total row also. Because the reason we're going to do that is because they told us that we have a total principal of $17,000. So if we have a total principal of $17,000 and we're going to put part of it in this first account and part in the second one, we don't know exactly how much is going into each one. So we're going to have to call the first one X and the second one 17000 minus X. Now, the first account has an interest rate of 7%, so that would be 0.07. And the other account has a 15%, so that would be 0.15. Now, what else did they tell us here? They said the interest received in one year was $1,500. That's our total interest, $1,500. So I'm putting it in the total interest entry there. Well, the way that we find our interest is principal times rate equals interest. So 0 0.07 times x would be the interest on this first account. 0 0.15 times 17,000 minus x would be the interest on the second account. Now this is your equation right here because the interest from the first account plus the interest on the second should equal our total interest. So we just now have to set up our equation which would be 0.07x plus 0.15 times 17,000 minus x equals 1,500. Now it's just a matter of solving. So we would have 0.07x plus, we're going to distribute our 0.15. Uh, 0.15 times 17,000 would be uh, 2550. 0.15 times negative x would be minus 0.15x equals 1,500. We can combine these like terms. Uh, 0.07 and negative 0.15 would be negative 0.08x plus 2550 equals 1,500. And let me move down just a little bit here. Now we could subtract 2550 from both sides to get negative 0.08x equals negative 1050. The 1500 minus the 2550 would be negative 1050. And now we would divide both sides by the negative 0.08 to get x alone, and we would end up with 13125. All right, now if you'll remember from our question here, it actually asked us how much was loaned at 7%? Well, the 7%, we let that variable be x. So when we solved for x, we end up with the actual answer that we needed.